Hey, have you ever been walking down through the grocery store aisles and noticed all the supplements that are there, different brands um, from A usually to Z in alphabetical order, powders, sports performance, you know, ones towards geriatrics for babies. It can be a very overwhelming category. And supplements are actually what we're gonna talk about today, specifically one um, that we've really dove into lately in our practice and benefits uh, alongside of that, which today we're actually gonna be talking about magnesium. So <clears throat> you may be familiar with that as an electrolyte, and uh, most people don't really know what to take it for. Maybe you've heard it for sleep, uh, maybe for digestion as well, but you know, the research says that 30 up to 50% are actually deficient in magnesium. So before we dive into maybe you being one of those 30 to 50 percent of Americans is doing these spinal workshops are something that we here at Apex do every Tuesday. Again I'm Dr. Ryan Weaver and these spinal workshops typically last about 10 to 15 minutes. I want to get right to the point but to, uh, to educate my patients and also my community because we need to understand you know, what are these supplements what are things that we can be proactive with in healthcare, in chiropractic care, in preventative and regenerative medicines and things of such. So <clears throat> tonight we're uh, talking about magnesium and as I said, 30 to 50 percent of people uh, are deficient in this. Uh, again, magnesium is an electrolyte. The primary jobs of magnesium within our body, regulating our heartbeat, so it helps with uh, electrical conduction. Um, it serves as a cofactor for over 300 uh, different enzymatic reactions. ATP production, so energy. DNA synthesis and repair, synthesis, excuse me, synthesis and repair. Fat metabolism, bone formation, or to name a few. So how do you know if this trace mineral, are you deficient in it? Well, there are signs and symptoms uh, not a lot of times are these actually checked on a blood panel, but cardiac arrhythmia, heart failure, osteoporosis, soft tissue calcification. So again, back up to the jobs, they really correlate with these. Anxiety and depression, the one we're going to get into. Fatigue, tinnitus, aggression, muscle weakness, spasms, and tremors. So, with that in mind, the benefits to this, and one of the things uh, I believe I talked about maybe in our nutrition um, or one earlier this year was chronic inflammation. So in our body, you know, a deficiency of magnesium can lead to chronic inflammation. Again, this is where atherosclerosis and these buildups happen because they make our arteries very sticky and these things stick to those and it clogs up our arteries. So cardiovascular health, health is one. Again, bone health. You know, 60% of our stored magnesium is actually stored within our bones. Higher levels, a study showed, uh, of magnesium, actually we had a higher increase in our density of bone. So anxiety, mood, and sleep. I want to pause on this, and this is probably one of the things uh, most commonly that I recommend. You know, if you have trouble sleeping, you know, one of the brands, Calm Magnesium, <clears throat> that can help um, keep us asleep, help us to get to sleep, and have more restful, uninterrupted sleep is magnesium. So that's probably one of the most common uh, recommendations I have. Again, anxiousness, insomnia kind of goes with that as well. Um, but one of the uh, other things that I thought was very interesting <clears throat> is that magnesium can help with apoptosis which is by definition programmed cell death. And what they related that to was anti-cancer immunity, that this can help and destroy defective cells uh, before they actually become malignant. So, you heard me mention uh, the brand Calm. Um, we also sell magnesium in our office, but those are the supplements. So, above anything, we should try to get this from good healthy foods first, and then if we have to supplement, Again, that's what supplementation is, supplementing. So where to get these? Well, one that everybody may love here, dark chocolate is actually high in magnesium. Dark leafy greens, nuts and seeds as well, um, <clears throat> avocados, 
in the seafood department, fatty fish, oysters. Um, you may have heard of this one, baked potato with actually eating the skin with that, bananas and raisins. So, <clears throat> magnesium, an electrolyte, something we should look at, uh, you know, are we deficient in it or not? Again, uh, you can ask your physician to test for that and, and check. But again, these are little things that we can add up to allow ourselves to be more proactive. Again, we go back to restful sleep. You know, that is a point where our nervous system gets to relax uh, amongst the busyness of the world that we live in. So again, a supplement is a supplement. So I always go back to what's the most important thing. Well, the first thing is our nervous system, our brain and spinal cord. So definitely have your spine checked. Make sure that's good. Make sure you're walking. You know, what we talked about many years ago, these three 10 minute walks, you know, maybe following a meal that helps digestion, helps blood flow, um, and helps with uh, that digestion that doesn't allow us to feel fatigued after we eat. Eat the right things. Again, how often have you heard dark leafy greens? Again, there was some fruit in there. There was some fish in there. You know, dark, dark chocolate, obviously, there's your sweet, so you get away with one. But again, we wanna look at these upcoming uh, you know, summer months and you know, get our vitamin D, try to get out in the sun, and, and do the right things and be proactive. Stay active. Uh, we usually don't have a, a hard time with that in the Midwest in the summer, but going into healthy habits to carry on in the fall and winter, you know, these are things that we should do every single day. So I hope you learned something here, and we'll look forward to seeing you uh, next week, which is, uh, I believe, our open mic, which we're gonna talk about a few surprise things uh, that may really surprise you. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. Again, I'm Dr. Ryan Weaver. Every Tuesday we do these spinal workshops here at Apex Spinal Performance to bring our patients and you, our community, uh, further education and the most recent up-to-date. We'll see you later.